Hey everybody, welcome to the ToyCarCollector.com. That's right, ToyCarCollector.com, where I collect Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Johnny Lightnings, all kinds of toy cars. And whenever I buy a collection, I reveal it here to share with you so you can see what's out there. Really, that's what you need to take away from this video is that these collections are out there. And if you have some way to advertise in your local area, you just might come up with a collection like this too. And you won't have to pay those crazy eBay prices well, you have to pay close to crazy eBay prices, but you'll be able to get some collections, uh, good stuff that hasn't been in a collector's hands in like 50 years, because these things are old, right? They are old. So anyway, Hot Wheels, that's my number one. Matchbox number two, Johnny Lighting number three. I love these things. I love going to Hot Wheels conventions, meeting all my friends, but the government lockdown killed the last two conventions, driving me crazy because I've been to a lot of conventions. You want to see how many I've been to? Here's just a few right here. Look at that. All right, conventions, conventions, conventions. This is like the last, I don't know, 10 years. I've been to conventions over the last, what, since 1991, 30. Been to like 56 conventions. And man, I sure miss seeing all my friends. But I'm looking forward to seeing everybody in April in, where? In Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, yeah. My best friend lives in Atlanta, Georgia. Anyway, without further ado, let me show you this collection I just bought locally and reveal all the cars to you. Now, they're not going to be wrapped up like normally. I like to have, when I buy a collection, I like to have all the cars wrapped up in a tissue so I can peel them open and show them to you and share my experience of collecting. And we had just have a good time here on the ToyCarCollector.com channel. Video number 490. You know what that means. You got 489 more videos to go back and watch and the videos that are coming. So let's get started with this one right now. All right, before we start to get into this collection car by car, one by one, let's take a look at how the collection looked to me when I first saw it. The collection consisted of two 48 car flat cases, the most popular collectible case for Hot Wheels ever made and also a 12 car rally case. So let's get started with that. Now this red box over here has a couple of extra cars that I got at the same time as the collection. The fella had these on display and I thought they looked pretty nice so I picked these up too. Nothing real big deal in there. So we got the rally case. We're gonna take these over. I'll give you an overview of the collection and then we'll take them over to the Take them over to the studio, open them up one by one. Now, they're not wrapped up like my normal collection reviews, but, ooh, look at that. Johnny Lightnings. Now, don't look at that over there. That's just days of models of yesterday. Uh, yuck, I hate those things. Nobody really collects these things anymore, so they barely have any value. Johnny Lightnings. What's really cool about these Johnny Lightnings is this moving van here has the most beautiful gold paint job I've ever seen. There's a couple of other really beautiful cars, and when you shine the light on them, they look so nice. Johnny Lightnings, just like Hot Wheels, need a lot of light to really show the, their finest. And these cases had the original tags on them, which is pretty darn cool. And here is the Hot Wheels, the Hot Wheels. Now this case is kind of dirty right now, but I tell you what, if you just use a little elbow grease and <laughs> elbow grease, did I say elbow grease, and and some simple green, that simple green, these cases clean up very, very nice. Okay, here it is, Hot Wheels. Oh my gosh, look at all those Hot Wheels. Holy smokes. All right, that's all you get to see. Let's get over to the studio and, and get these babies open. All right, everybody, here we go with the first car out of the box, a yellow Snake One. A yellow Snake One. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Got a lot of chips on the front there. Looks like it might have crashed into other cars, but on the sides, it's real nice. This one could do, look at those beautiful, perfect wheels on there. That is nice. Let me slide over here so I can get my other hand around the camera. Here we go. Let's take a look in here. We've got the ladder bar. Everything's good. Look at that. This car is actually in beautiful shape. Look at it. Barely, barely touched. I think it just banged around a lot. Because look at those perfect wheels. My goodness. Perfect wheels. On, oh my gosh. Those things look like brand new. That is actually a beautiful, beautiful car. A snake one with no stickers. I'll put that one down there. Next one up. A gold 69 classic 32 Ford Vicky. Ooh, we got a beautiful wheel on that back side there. This one's got, this one's got a little corrosion on the metal. Little dullness on the top of the uh, motor there. Look at that. A lot of people have to, you know, don't like that, uh, have the paint scraped in the middle there. I suppose a person with a good eye and a modeler could touch that up a little bit, but nobody really likes touched up or, or modified original red lines. Although I have noticed lately that some beautiful restorations do pretty well on eBay. 
It's not something I'm interested in, but I do have a couple of restorations that have come in collections. I'm saving them up to auction them off on eBay someday or put them on eBay. Here we've got a Lotus Turbine. Actually quite nice. Got a good bright shine to it. Very little wear. And beautiful wheels. The Lotus Turbines typically always have beautiful wheels. So if you need good wheels for your 60s, for your 70s or 71 models, the Lotus Turbine is always a good wheel donor for that purpose. All right, here is a Silhouette from 68. This one is a Hong Kong. Oh, yeah, this is Hong Kong Lime. Deep dish wheels on front. That's pretty cool. There's the Hong Kong base with the four square holes. And it'll say on the bottom, U.S. and patent, foreign patents pending. That's because this is an early version, but it does say Hong Kong right there. I don't keep up really on exactly the variations of the uh, bottom text. There's not something that interests me. I just love a beautiful Hot Wheel. I'm constantly looking for beautiful Hot Wheels. This one's actually in pretty good shape, and the Hong Kong silhouettes are actually harder. Did I say actually twice? Okay. They are harder than the U.S. ones to find. Here's a nice, real nice uh, 68 Custom T-Bird. Look at this thing. It really has no wear on it. The only thing that keeps it from looking perfect is that it's not perfect. Ha <laughs> ha. Got you on that one. Actually, so so what you've got here, Hong Kong cars. Now, see how beautiful that roof is? That would have a lot of chips on it if the car had been played with. Now, look at how beautiful those wheels are. If the car had been played with, those wouldn't look that good. And if it had been exposed to moisture, the chrome would have disappeared over time. And look at that base, nice and shiny. It really is nice and shiny for Hong Kong, especially, which are not known to be shiny. So you got a little bit of wear around the edges where it's rubbed in the carry case over the years. That's pretty much it. Maybe light wear indoors, something like that. But this has got several of the typical Hong Kong issues. It's got toning, wispy tony toning, the darkening. And then it's got this paint that's just got bubbling all over it. It's like it's it's almost like it's got sand or specks in the paint. And you can see it. It just, you know, see that? It just looks weird. It does. Now, does that affect the value of the car? Well, you would think that, but right now people are paying top dollar for red lines, so you never know. Here is a 68 Custom Fleet side. It's got deep dish wheels on the back, which probably don't belong on there. Maybe they do. I doubt it, though. Probably came off another car, got swapped around. This one with the painted base on the back. Some of them have painted on both ends, but this one's painted on the bottom, so it's a harder model to get. It's earlier. Why they would have put paint on there, I have no idea. It seems odd, really. I guess because they wanted this tail panel to be painted, but quickly after they decided it was too much work. Got a good bed cover on it. Actually, quite in nice shape. Quite in nice shape. Look at that. And uh, I would probably put those back on a more appropriate car that's supposed to have deep dish wheels. But then again, it's Hong Kong, so you got to be real careful about fussing around with the wheels on a Hong Kong car. They're much more, they're much more delicate than the U.S. cars. Here is a blue Ferrari 312P Hong Kong, which is typical. Look how dull that motor is in there. Can you see that around the? Well, actually, the motor is a separate piece, isn't it? So, but look at the chassis there. That is, that is serious darkness. That is something that didn't get coated with pot with. Uh, Nickel or whatever it was that they quoted. They, they, they what did they say? They, they uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. When they made these, they polished them. And didn't they cut them with nickel or something like that? Leave comments below. It's early in the morning and my brain is not working that well. But you know, when you're when you're a toy car collector like myself, Hot Wheels particularly. Um, I wake up at about 4:35 in the morning and all I can think about is getting down to where the Hot Wheels are and playing with them. And playing with them to me means getting them out of a collection that I just bought and seeing what I got. All right, everybody. I'm going to start alphabetically from the uh, newest model to the oldest model. We'll start with 71. I've got one grasshopper here. 71. Now, I always get this one mixed up with the power pad. I always think the power pad's a 70. One and the grasshopper is a 70, but it's the opposite way around. The grasshopper is the 71, and here it is, actually in beautiful shape, just missing the windshield. Apparently, they wanted to ride with the windshield down, so they just chopped that off because you would have to do some work to get that out of there. Pretty sure, pretty sure it just doesn't fall out. So, there it is, a grasshopper. Then, moving down, tow truck. Next one, like I said, alphabetically, we're going to go through the collection. It's not wrapped up like a typical re collection review that I do. And that is because I bought it locally from a local guy who had my number and said, Hey, Dave, I've got a collection. Actually, he got the collection from somebody, and then that he sold it to me. 
and uh, uh, it was pretty expensive, but some nice cars in here. I was really surprised. There was definitely about four or five cars that I really wanted, so I didn't mind spending the extra money. Here is a green tow truck. Nice shape. Look at that shiny base. Perfect wheels. Nice black plastic on there. Chrome. Beautiful on the metal piece there. And just a little wear around the cab. But otherwise, super nice. Super nice. And the next one, Porsche. Porsche 917. One of the things you got to watch out for with Porsche 917 is if they run into other cars, they get these weird, stri these weird uh, scratches on the front. And also, it's really, really hard to get the front and the back, or the back and the front, or I mean the front and the back. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's 5 o'clock in the morning here in Portland, Oregon. And uh, when you're a toy car collector, you wake up early thinking, man, I need to get down to where the Hot Wheels are. And I have felt that way every night, every morning for 30 plus years. Anyway, here we go with the Porsche and light green. Darker on the front, lighter on the back. Got it right that time. That's just typical of the Porsche. So, you know, if you, unless you want to spend your days agonizing over every Porsche you've seen, it's going to be hard to collect these. Just go with it. They're beautiful, even if they don't match. They're still beautiful. All right, peeping bombs, peeping gums, peeping blondes, bleeping blue. Oh, boy. Better get some more copy in me, that's for sure. Here we got the peeping bomb in light green. Light green. But look how dark it is on top. So the full body is basically darkened, and that gives it that dark patina. But look at that. Highly chrome pipes, highly chrome base, beautiful wheels. It's actually a very, very nice peeping bomb. It really is. Does it have orange headlights? Let's check. Nope. Chrome headlights. I don't know which colors. I think there's only certain colors that have the headlights. Now, here we got yellow. One thing I can tell you about yellow, it is hard to get a beautiful yellow as beautiful as this one. But when you do, it's well worth it. Nice shiny base. Look at that. Pretty. Oh, no. Look at that. A little icky on there. An icky on there. I think I need to... I think I need to swap the base. Let's just drill that apart and swap the base. What do you think? No, come on now. You know, I'd never do something stupid like that. That is just crazy. But I do have some customers who look for things that they can fuss around with, you know, like messed up cars like this. And they like to repaint and whatnot. But I personally don't do anything with repaints or any stuff like that. Everything for me is original, original, original. I love original Hot Wheels. And I have for over 30 years and when I was a kid too, which uh, seems to be a long time ago now. Here is another yellow peeping bomb. Did I tell you about this one with the crappy front end? I think I missed it, you know, because what I did is I'm recording right now, but I actually went over these cars once before without turning the camera on. Like I said, it's early in the morning. I've only had half a cup of coffee so far. I think I might have to pause and drink some more coffee. But anyway, here we go with another yellow. This one's dark. See how dark it is all over? Kind of like that light green over there. But it's still beautiful. It's a peeping bomb. And one thing about these customer fantasy cars, I think we call them, is that until you see a bunch of them together, you don't really get excited about them. But when you see a bunch of them together, it's like, oh, oh, so cool. All right, next up is the Mongoose. The Mongoose. Now, uh, the fact that this collection has both a Mongoose and a snake with no stickers on it uh, leads me to believe that they had a mongoose and snake race set in which case both of these cars came with no stickers at all on them in the race set so typically when you find them like this that means they did have the race set because if you got them in the blister pack they come with one sticker on the side so one sticker on the side is a blister pack car that never had the other stickers put on and no stickers is the mongoose and snake race set cars there's a second mongoose this one with all the stickers on it. So this one uh, was probably from a from a uh, blister pack. And it uh, it's okay. It's got all the stickers on it, which is cool. Uh, it's got some weird yellowing up there. A lot of wear on the front of this one. But again, look at that. The wheels are in nice shape. And missing the ladder bar, but I've got extra ladder bars for that. And so there you go with another mongoose. All right, next one up is a mod quad and blue mod quad and blue mod quad and blue is a fantastic model look at that the blue is so pretty a little casting fly in that motor can you see it a little hole down there little casting flaw oh you can see it right across there real well let's see see it yeah there it is casting flaw no big deal still beautiful 
Look at that. Decent base. Very nice. And that is a nice looking car. Mm -mm -mm. I love the Mog Quad. That can be a beautiful car with the right colors. Here we got a Mantis. Mantis 70. Look at that. Beautiful. For Hong Kong, that thing is nice. Wow, it's got a little paint popping on that front fender. Can you see it? Yeah, a little paint popping. Not bad, really. In beautiful condition. Jamie and Christmas. Some of these... Some of these are really nice. Next one up, uh, Ferrari 312P in green, Hong Kong, with the recessed, the recessed uh, lines. Sometimes these lines right here are are sticking up, and sometimes they're in. They don't fall over the side there, do they? Do they normally do that? Let's see. There's this one, and then there's this one blue. No, they only go to the edge there. Now look how bad the paint popping is on this blue one. I like to call it paint popping. Do you have any other words for it? If you do, uh, leave your comments below. I call it paint popping. It just pops off, falls off, drops off. Paint drop off would be another good term, but it's kind of long. PDO, paint drop off. Hmm, PDO, okay. Anyway, here, look at those beautiful wheels. Beautiful base. Isn't that a shame? It really looks like a blister pack pole with bad paint, which I just might call it. If I don't see any... Evidence aware, I might just call that a blister pack pull with bad paint. All right. And then the green one, the green one had some wear on it. And the stickers had been applied. And it also has paint popping. Oh, that notorious dread for dreaded paint popping. Ambulance, ambulance. Oh, wait a minute. I skipped over one. I skipped over the classic Nomad. Here's an ambulance, and it's got the white interior, which I like. It's got, a, oh man, that's got some nasty wheel on there. I don't know what happened there. Whew. Well, fortunately, that can be replaced. And it's got a beautiful, shiny base. It's actually quite a lovely ambulance. That is so nice. Look at that. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And the last one of the 70s in this collection Classic Nomad Hot Pink. Oh, goodness. Look how nice that is. Darkened hood, which is typical. Just a touch of wear on the thing, but beautiful, bright neon pink. Wow, that is nice. That is so nice. Look at that. I, I need a rotisserie. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Rotisserie. I do have a rotating base to display these on. That one is nice. Holy smokes. There it is. That's the last of the 70s. Focus in there. That is all the 70s from this collection. I whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Hold the phone. There's one more in there. I take it back. One more. Oh, look at that. Ferrari 312 sticker sheet. One in Hong Kong. One in USA. That's cool. This one looks like it's coming off. Maybe it just slid off a little bit. So nice. And a beautiful red. Beautiful red. Look at that. That thing is perfect. Oh, the wheel's bent over there. We're going to straighten that out. But look at that. That thing is beautiful. Ooh. A U.S. Ferrari. Looks like it just came out of the package. Probably had that wheel tweaked at the factory. Probably tweaked at the factory. I don't know if we could straighten that out with a tool or not. We could try it. Whoa. Let's see, here is an original tune-up tool. This one I polished. Got something on it though recently. Look at that, looks nice after you polish it up good. I've got several of these. Pretty cool. You just give it up. Give it a good tweak right there. Just straighten out a little bit. Hmm. It's, it's getting a little straight. Oh, I dropped down to the camera frame there. Yeah, that's, I think I'll just about ready to settle. Or I pop it off or something. I think I'll settle for that. Yeah, that sounds good enough right there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? They actually are really dull when you find them, but you can polish them up. It's probably bad but to do that, kind of like coins, but I like them that way. Put them on display. I've got three or four of these. 
They're quite expensive, actually. I've seen them go for as much as 150 bucks. But they only came in a, um, what, what, what was the thing? The gear, Not the gearbox, the um, Hot Wheels. It looks like a gas station. I've got one for sale on my site. It doesn't come with that piece. All right, let's get started on the 69s. And in the 69s, there's not too many, but there are these two beautiful rose twin mills. Look at that, rose twin mill, like lipstick. Well, I can't imagine lipstick looking like that, but that uh, could be, uh, let's see. Look at that. One is a little lighter than the other, and they have beautiful wheels. Look at those wheels. Wow. These cars have been well taken care of. They are nice. And usually the bases are darker than the tops. They just didn't put as much polishing time into the bottoms. So they are typically dark on the twin mill. So don't worry about that because you're not going to display it upside down. And then we've got two splitting images. Two splitting images. This is one of those collections that uh, came from a family with two boys, each boy getting the same car in many instances. Here is two splitting images, and one is always a little better than the other, like this one is a little better than that one, but not too far off. It's real nice. There are some cars in this case that aren't great, but these are pretty darn nice. What else we got in the... We've got a... Brabham Repco in aqua, pretty much untouched, as usual. I mean, what can you really do with a Brabham Repco? Run it down the track a couple times, and that's kind of it. That's about it. Here we've got a Chaparral, missing the spoiler, brown. A nice dark brown. I'd say regular brown, actually, because it can be. I have seen them darker than that. And then there's a Vicky, which I've already done. And is that all the 69s? Is it? Is it? I believe it is. All right, let's start on the 68s now. Where's my sheet? All right. One of the 68s is this purple silhouette from Hong USA. Hmm, it looks like a Hong Kong on top, that color, but it is a USA. It's got still three good wheels on it and one missing. Not a problem. I've got extra wheels. Look at that. A silhouette in purple. Purple. What's next, Dave? What comes after silhouette? Silhouette. I think there might be another. Yes. There's another. This one, bright lime. Look at that. This one qualifies as almost antifreeze. I don't know if I'd call it antifreeze or not. Bright lime, I probably prefer to call it. Beautiful wheels. You know, the problem with silhouettes, though, is that these wheels typically end up off the silhouette onto a Mustang or Camaro to, you know, you want your high dollar cars to look as best as they can, as best as they can. And let's see, what would be alphabetically, we're working our way back to the top. Hot Heap, Hot Heap in gold, Hot Heap in gold. This is a car that looks, it really does look perfect in this light. In daylight, though, you can see it's got a lot of wear on the fenders, and there's a little spotting. But as long as you keep it in a nice bright light, it's going to look good, really good. And Hot Wheels do need and deserve some bright light. We've got a Diora, one Diora with surfboards. Actually, let's see. This is a Hong Kong Diora, so it has the long boards. Oh, man. Shoot, this one's broken. Oh, that sucks. And the other one is good. I need these for a beach bomb right now. But that one's not going to do me any good. But I did need extra yellow, so that's good. Here's the gold Diora. Now, the gold Dioras Hong Kong sometimes come with four deep dish wheels. Look at that. Four beautiful deep dish wheels. Beautiful base. Has a surprising a lot of wear on it, considering it looks like new. And the, the steering wheel is actually still in place, which usually falls off in these Hong Kong. It's rolling around inside or falls out through the wheel well. But otherwise... Decent. Very, very decent. All right, what comes before Dior? A custom T-Bird. There's a bad one in here. There's a bad one in here. Look at this. Custom T-Bird with the hood ripped off. Oh, my gosh. And deep dish wheels all around. Oh, boy. Look at that. That's cool. You know those aren't going to stay on this speed-up car. That is nice. It's actually quite easy to pop a wheel off a car like that. Let's take a look. So this is my favorite tool for wheel removal. And you just put it behind the wheels like that and just jiggle back and forth very lightly. 
you want it to ease off itself. There you go, beautiful wheel. These wheels are actually worth about 20 bucks a piece, believe it or not. You do not want to pressure, high pressure at all. Just very easy. Just ease it off there. Look at that. I don't know, this might be a $100 set of wheels right here. Because these things are scarce. And look how perfect these are. Look at that. What if you got a what if you had a perfect car otherwise, but it had a bad chrome on one of the wheels? You'd need that real bad. I'll put those off the side. And there we go. We can put that in the wrecking yard. Put that in the wrecking yard. What about other T Birds? Yes, there are others. There was one from the first batch. Here's another gold one. Rather rough condition. Rather rough. Look at that. I've been watching eBay lately, and even these kind of cars seem to go for a lot of money. This one actually has beautiful color on the sides. Look at that. Beautiful color on the sides. It really is. And this one side here has got some wear on it. And let's see if the hood opens. It does. Look at that. The hood does open and close. Hong Kong gold. I have one of these in the blister pack that has no toning and no paint issues, and it is unreal. Unreal. Yes. Bought it from a guy on eBay years ago who had quite a few unreal cars, really. Oh, look at this. Now, here's an Aqua, another one that's in pretty good shape. It also has perfect deep dish wheels on it. This one seems a little deeper than that. Well, I don't know. Look at that. Aqua T-Bird. Deep dish wheels. Pretty darn cool. Look at that. I love that. I love the deep dish wheels. I'm going to have to leave that one alone. Leave it alone, Dave. Oh, my gosh. You know what? You know what? I actually forgot to pull this one out. This was my baby right here. The one I wanted the most in the collection. Orange Charger. Orange Charger. Probably the finest one I've ever found. Look at that. It's got one little nick right there. That's about it. One little nick right there. Look at that orange charger. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Wow. That's my baby. Of all the cars in the collection, this is probably one of a couple of keepers. Maybe three keepers in the lot. But that's what you got to do to find all the finest cars. You got to buy a lot of collections. You really do. What comes next? Oh, Mustang. Did we do all the T-Birds? There's two Mustangs. Two Mustangs. Ow. Come on. Get out of there. Got this one. Ah, I think there might be something wrong with the hood. What do you think? Yes. Something's wrong with the hood. It has only one hood pin left of the two that it came with. Gold. Deep dish wheels on front. Whoop. Nice shine for what for the paint that's left. And um, yeah, it displays fine. Some people like to have their cars with some little character. This one has all kinds of character. And one more, one more red Mustang. This one Hong Kong, red. Oh, look at that. That's got the early red painted tail. Oh, and that's got the early gold painted tail. What do you know about that? Hmm, I wonder what other special features of... Oh my gosh, open hood scoop. Are you kidding me? That's nuts. Red interior, open hood scoops, chrome shiny motor, black painted insert on the grill. Oh my goodness, that's an early car. Deep dish wheels all around. Are you kidding me? Oh my. Wowee. That is so boss, man. Wow. And nice shape. Got a little bit of wear on it, but it displays very, very nice. Look at that. Oh, that's a gem. That is a gem. That is such a gem. And before the Mustang, are there any more Mustangs? Oh, my goodness. That's what I, I missed this one. 69 Mercedes Aqua. 69 Mercedes Aqua. There it is. I missed those two when I was going alphabetically down. All right, what's next? Fleet side. Fleet side. Two fleet sides. One orange. Oh, painted base again. This collection is very early. Oh, deep dish wheels all around. That's nuts. That is nuts. 
Why won't that close? I don't know, because it's a little bit too far forward, isn't it? A little too far forward to close. Hmm, don't want to mess around with that too much. But look at that deep dish wheels on a fleet side. Have I even seen that before? I don't know. That is pretty cool orange. Look at that. That's an early model. Orange painted tail. A lot of early models in this collection. Very early. And another fleet side. And again, painted. These guys went out and bought these cars right away. Right away. Now, is that how those are supposed to look unpainted on top? Or is that painted on top? I don't know. Purple fleet sign. This one's gorgeous. This one is a good looker. Hmm. Very good looking. Fleet side. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at the original 68s. Love that. There's one Firebird. One Firebird. Blue. U.S. Firebird. Decent on the sides. Very decent. Got a little chippies on the hood. But very decent on the sides. Right there. Very nice. Very, very nice. I guess I get spoiled because a lot of the collections I buy have so many nice cars. And so I get very spoiled. 30 years doing this thing. Oh my gosh. How about Cougar? Do I have any Cougars? Yes, we do. We have an orange Cougar. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Orange. Look at all the wear on this thing. Why is there so much wear? But yet the wheels are perfect. Deep dish all around too. Oh my gosh. That is cool. Orange deep dish. Oof. Wow. I don't know. Hmm. That is neat. Orange with deep dish. I love deep dish wheels. Those are so cool. And there are two more. There are two more cougars. Both antifreeze. Holy smokes. Good night, Irene. Look at these two antifreeze custom cougars. There's the other two cars in there. Well, there's three, four cars in the collection that I really are sought after. I really wanted as well. Two antifreeze cougars in beautiful shape. Look at that. Oh, look at that. We have a long... I, now, this is a detail. Like I say, I'm not really that keen on details, but um, this one, I know this. I know this variation. Large gas tank versus small gas tank. On the US that is a variation I'm not sure what it means exactly to anybody but it is a variation so there it is comments below if you know all about that that'd be great that's got a Hong Kong wheel on the back got two of them actually hmm supposed to have US wheels on there nice shape though this is the beauty of the bunch look at that they always have this little darkening across the front there. I don't know that's probably where they picked it up or something I don't know, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. That's so pretty. Where are you going to find a car like that anyway? And there's two more cars and a whole bunch of buttons. There's a Camaro with no hood, but look how nice it is. Otherwise nice. Otherwise nice. A Camaro with no hood. Look at that. Antifreeze, painted tail. Hong Kong, beautiful wheels, just needs a hood. I get that all the time from people. Hey, I've got a Camaro, I just need the hood. Well, the hood is the good part. It's always, it's always, I always laugh when people are asking for something that's the major part and acting like it's the minor part. Like, oh, you know, I've got a, I've got a 53 Corvette, but it just needs the body and the motor. Just, yeah, I don't use the word just when you need you need the whole thing for crying out loud. You just can't get that hood by itself. Anyway, it's just me rambling. And the last car in the lot. No, 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 no. One more cougar. One more cougar. This one in fine shape. Fine shape. Same as that. Orange. Better shape than before. This one without the deep dish. Is it a painted tooth? No, it is not. A decent, a very decent orange cougar. Wow. I haven't had orange cougars for a while. I don't even know if I have one in my collection, really. At least not a Hong Kong. 
Wow, I wish that all the finishes looked like that back part there. That is nice. They can be beautiful, but they're not often. And then the last car in the lot, a, a Camaro. This one with a hood. And it's not broken. Oh, that's weird. All the paint's kind of rubbed off of this post right here. That's kind of sad. And it's actually otherwise pretty darn nice. The wheels are kind of kind of weak on this one. Good on this side. Good on that side. A little weak on this side. Got some weird damage though. What is that? Why is that paint rubbed off of there? That is so weird. Maybe they just missed that. Anyway, that is like one of the very, very first cars ever made. The Camaro with the painted tail, Hong Kong. So cool. And they say patent pending on them. I think that means something too. I guess we got a little debt from the factory. All right, everybody. So let's take a look. There it is. That is the end of that collection. What a wonderful collection. Thanks for joining me for this video. What is it about? Number 490 of my videos. All my videos are about collecting toys, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Johnny Lightning. And I do have a video upcoming on the Johnny Lightnings that came with this collection. Appreciate you joining me. Please smash the bell and uh, all is well. And, and then make sure you subscribe and I will see you on the next video.